That'd be super great. I would say, yeah, I, I mean, we're done, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Hardy. One second. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, we did this thing with Gasly, so we're going to go forth with that now. And then, did you do the thing where we could have the last That's right, yeah. Looked rather dapper in the photo. Um, but now you're healed and recovered, you got a day of rest. Okay. Um, yeah, so leave that up, it's on campus. Okay. No, check it out. But, yep. Is your Heidi? How are we looking? Me? It's my boy, Charlie. Is it that one? Yeah, the little guy. He's the cuter yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, the other one's my nephew. He's so cute. That's Lillian. Yeah. <laughs> Need to update the photos. Do they look like you? The, yeah, they do, unfortunately. They look exactly like each other. Like, that's kind of sketchy, too. It's just like, oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie with long hair. Huh. Huh. Hey. Oh, bro. Got a sock there. Why don't you go ahead and pick a board for us? Okay. Wow, shut the gap. The board tried to hide. You can't hide from that roll. Let's give it a go. All right. Hey, this group, come on up. Chat with us. All right, tune in here quick. They're going to run you through what they did. Uh, listen, though, so you can ask some questions if needed. Um, hopefully you've got the sheet somewhere. If you were gone, you can kind of jot down where we land here. But we, we spent a lot of hopefully productive time yesterday working through this one, and we're going to kind of head down a similar path here today uh, after we get done with this. But turn it over to this fine group here. The, I have an apple. Oh, I have an apple. The <laughs> chocolate milk. All right, chocolate milk. How about us? Yeah, well, Julian's chewing. Somebody's going to do the talk. Julian, <laughs> <laughs> come on. There's two of them. He's still chewing. Is he I'm chewing. <laughs> Let's stop. All right, we'll just wait for him to finish. No, we won't. <laughs> Get after it. What do you got going on there? Talk to us about the top part. That's the top part. Well, that's a sister, Steve. I don't know. It's. Uh, it, it, it fits the system schema. Okay. So, yeah, it's cool. And, and then, then, how does that lead to that big free body diet? That's big, that seems important. Well, What's going on it, there? It, it's not really important. That's just a free body diagram for the whole kind system. Of important. Yeah, it's like if you group all these things together, there's one, that's that thing. Yeah. Nine kilograms of total stuff, so. so that's how you got the 90 newtons. Okay. And what do you get for the FU then? Uh, okay. So what's the significance of that if we got an 18 new FU on this system? That you call for acceleration. Should be two meters per second squared. Cool. Flip another board that's taken from there. So this theme is going to come up again today, like working back and forth from looking at them as individual objects. Looking at them as a system. So uh, pop on up here. This group, which appears to be the Sour Patch Kids. We're not supposed to have favorites, but this is definitely my favorite candy. Especially the blue ones. Yeah. If I've got to get yes. something done, it's a bag of Sour Patch Kids and a bottle of Coke. Patches? Patch and a Coke. Yeah. 
Tough paper to write. Stop patch kids in the cup. It's just how I live my life. That's why I look the way I do. All right. I was worried you forgot. It. So we also did the big one, but we also did um, each different block, the three by nine for each block. And this is our two kilogram, three kilogram, and four kilogram. And we were able to find FU for each one. Ha! Um, we took the, uh, the acceleration for the whole system and uh, plugged in the masses of each of the various blocks, and then we found the FU for that. So, uh, so what are the FUs? It is uh, four newtons for the small, the two kilo, six newtons for the three kilo, eight newtons for the four kilo. Okay, so as we're kind of looking at important aspects of the problem solving strategy for this unit, for whatever reason, uh, folks start off operating on the assumption that they're all going to experience the same unbalanced force. They're all connected. They're all going to experience the same kind of motion. So we're going to tie it together with that acceleration. So the first group established the acceleration for the system is two. Now this group is running with that. Each object needs to experience the same acceleration of two meters per second squared that the system experiences. So now they have the three FUs there, eight, six, and four. Okay, go ahead and flip another board to take it from there. Oh, no. Oh, were you like presenting at the end of the period or something? Yeah. 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 Crazy. Okay. Do I want you to go again? Flip another board. There he went. Yes. All right, you agree with everything so far? Yes. Okay. Can you talk to us about the free body diagram for the four kilogram object then? Yep. Uh, so for the four kilogram object, uh, there's nothing uh, on the right side of it, so it's not experiencing uh, smoosh poosh to the left. Um, you have the eight newtons of smoosh poosh to the right Why? Um, from box two, because uh, if you take the uh, unbalanced force, um, you have a marker. They didn't. point it there more than they got isn't it from the... Uh, Maybe not. Maybe don't point it before. Never mind. Go back to your point. <laughs> um, yeah, you have... Can you lard that business, Bernardo? Yeah. It's 40 up. So.
you can chat with your group mates about it too if you want. They don't have to do it. It's getting really suave. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have yeah. The reason it's eight minutes is because the block's eight minutes, <laughs> and you know the acceleration is two. Four, right? Four so kilograms. Yeah, it's four kilograms. So four times two is eight. So spell yeah. and balance force for that one is eight newtons. Yeah, it's got to be a few eight. Have uh, pressed and scrutiny near your uh, lard real quick, though. Because you momentarily broke lard in my mind. I had to think about it. Wait, too hard. I don't like it when people make me think. That's why I'm in high school. <coughs> Wait, what do you want me to do? Scrutinize that. How do we add arrows? Uh, well, like just describe it? No, look at that. Do you agree with it? Yeah, I agree with it. You got the 40 going down, the 40 going up. Without the attraction of arrows. Well, isn't the FU going the same way as the. Or should this one be going that way? Which I agree with, but. They're all there, but it's the order that they're there in. Now you're putting fire. Would you? It's the big arrow. Ghost arrows? What are you going on? It's the, the, the marker's dead. Can you take the cap off before you write with it next time? Yeah. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I had to think too hard about that. It's like, wait, what? Something was amiss, but you found it, you fixed it. Okay, so we go arrow up, arrow over, arrow down. That's how we get eight new nephew there. Okay, cool. Pass the mic, flip another board, and take it from there. So that's the free body diagram for the four kilogram. Double check. Did they agree with your free body diagram for the four kilogram? Other than the arrows look like lines? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. We'll make them come up here and go from there then. <laughs> Alright, Austin was gone, so I say make them. Alright, so I think your eight got erased uh, when it got put up there, but you just make that not look like a line. Cool. Alright, so you got eight newtons for that. Where'd you go from there? Um, so if there's, there's eight newtons, um, this way, so the, um, four kilogram block is pushing back on the three kilogram block with eight newtons. What's that? Force, um, but to balance it out, because it's at, well, I don't know, it was yesterday. <laughs> Force pairs. Hey. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So the um. So if four feels eight newtons from three, three feels eight newtons from four. Yeah. Okay. Where'd you go from that? Um. So then, if this, this is pushing um. 14 newtons, so this the uh, three kilogram block is feeling 14 newtons that way, so the force pair with um, the Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just talk about the three kilogram right now. Um, so we know there's eight newtons back on it because there was eight newtons forward yeah, on four. 14 that way. Why? From the two kilogram. So How do you get 14 for the three? Um, the FU is four, and then this one, 18. So 18 I'm talking, I'm the middle one there. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. fixating on that. You got 14 forward behind, oh, you know to do 14 forward. Six newtons of unbalanced. So if you already had eight going backwards, then you yeah. gotta have so, um, fourteen more that way. And then you get six. six. Yeah. And if the FU is six and it's three kilograms, your acceleration is gonna be two. Boom. All right. Flip another board to talk about the two kilogram block. Make sure they agree with you on the three kilogram block. Do they? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so 14 and 8 for the 3, what do you end up with for the 2 kilogram block? The 3 body diagram? Oh, we have 4 newtons. Okay. 
Yeah. Why is that? For foreign agents, it's an unbalanced force because you have 18, you're, the person is pushing with 18 newtons, and then the three kilogram, the unbalanced force for the three kilogram is six newtons. Unbalanced force for the four kilogram is eight newtons, so 18 minus six minus eight, you got four. Or two times two is four, right? Yeah, and then you can use F U equals M A and get trouble. Because they're all traveling at the at two meters. They're all accelerating at two meters per second. Cool. So free body diagram for the two kilogram then? Yes. Mm -hmm. Twenty newtons smush push out, twenty newtons gravity down. Um, fourteen newtons smush push from the other box going in that direction, and then the eighteen newton force pushing that way on the block. It had to be 18 to get the necessary FU of 4 newtons, and it also had to be 18. Why? Because? Because there's nothing else, like, distorting that force. I don't know. I was fishing for, like, the prompt, right? Said that yeah. the purse is pushing with 18 newtons, so it's good that it ends where it starts. Like, it's got that 18 newton force pushing on the 2 kilogram block. Okay. So the really important take home from this uh, is that the thing that's the same, because they're connected, because they're touching, is the accelerations. Their movement is together, is in sync. And so that's going to allow you to then go into the individual objects and figure out the uh, unbalanced forces they experience, and you can then use that to figure out the other forces. So there's kind of a link to that thing. Okay. Uh, could you do me a solid? Could you Ooh, hold still for a second? Let me get a picture of that one. And, or you're drawing one. I can just have you post yours. Let's see here. All right. Uh, you're not going to I'll crop you out anyways. But uh, if you could, grab your boards from up front, clean up, and then we're going to look at another problem here. So unfortunately, this thing only works if you're not looking at it. So I'm going to ask you to look out the window here in a second. What? Give me a moment, though. i got to get it set up. But I did it like 10 times in a row, fourth hour yesterday, and it never worked. And then today, when everybody was looking out the window, it worked perfect. Maybe the phone is the Yeah, the FD should be 600. So it's only up and down. Um. Mm. Yeah, okay, I got this. So why is it different acceleration? That's not right. You should write some notes on this or something. <laughs> That'd take the fun out of it. Guess and check or die. All right, here we go. So, share this right here. Angela, you might want to protect your phone there. 
You guys are probably okay. All right. Yeah, it's like the dangerous sit in the front row. So this Bob and Jane thing is basically uh, this. Okay. Yeah, don't smile during this demonstration. If you caught this in the teeth, that'd be terrible. <laughs> Nothing worse than leaving physics class with fewer teeth than you walk in with. All right, you ready? <laughs> watching? Because you're watching, it's not going to work. So I'm going to do it the first time with you watching, and it's just going to be like, and then you're going to look out the window, and you'll hear it next. It's going to work great. All right, ready? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So, what we're looking at here, kind of, kind of like the lab. Like, there's two bodies. They're connected um, by strings. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at a simplified version of this on here. And let me do this. All right. I'm gonna hook it up so that there's. What do we got? Hey. All right, so there's 200 grams on that hanger. So I'm going to set it up so there's two, 2.5 on this one. Okay, like clearly if I put 2.5 on both, then they're done that, right? That's not that exciting. So what I'm going to do instead is I'll take that 50 off of there. So now this is 250 grams, this is 200 grams. And when I let go of it, it does that, okay? So I need you to kind of have a thought about what, what models apply there, and then we're going to kind of we'll diagram this out together, okay? So you can start laying it out on your board. I'll start laying it out up here. Acceleration should be the same for the people in the block, because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, so I get what is happening. So what happened was... So the heavy weight falls down, so it falls off. So it's light up the other side. Yeah, so. I'm so confused. Yeah, I think the acceleration would depend on the year of the set versus. Yeah. 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 Y
Like, what are the key words that describe how that thing starts that are going to talk about? Start to rest. Start to rest. That's Q and it's, it's unbalanced, okay? So be mindful of that as you're modeling this thing. So, we tried to go right at the bottom of the last hour and did not go as efficiently as I hoped to do. So just worry about the situation on the board or the projection. By doing this stuff? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So again, I'm asking you to kind of play ball with us on this. What models apply here? Well, we already said, right? CAPM and UBFPM. All right. What? Uh, what am I? Is there anything obvious I'm missing right now? Anything obvious you'd like me to add to this? Just everything. Let's just figure out what's going on with this thing. How does their both Are there any known unknowns? Hmm? What are the things that we don't know? What? Well, like their pairs. So uh, the two moons uh, down. What else? Give me a second. Let me switch colors here. All right. So the two newtons down. You're saying. 2.5 newtons going up. Okay. 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 So this one is pulling down on this one. So that's why you see two newtons here. This one's pulling down on this one. That's why you see two and a half here. Okay. Are those going to be unbalanced? How unbalanced are they? 0.5. Which one? Both, Both of them. Both okay. Them. So so if I do a, a C, what do we call it in here? Lard. If I do a lard over here, I've got two and a half newtons down. And Nope, I don't. Let me fix that. I've got, hey, that was easy. Two newtons down and I've got... Two and a half newtons up. And so that's how I get an FU of. Hi, Harding? Of 0.5. And then for this one over here, I'm going to have 2.5 newtons down, two newtons up. And so I've got. A half newton of fu right there. Okay, and then where do we go from there? So now we know the fu's. What else can we know? Acceleration. That's like the crux of this whole model, right? Acceleration equals fu over m. So I can just take the fu over here, 0.5 newtons, and divide that by the m which is 200 grams, so that's 0.2 kilograms. 0.2 is 1 over 5, so uh, somebody with a calculator, what's 0.5 divided by 1 over 5? Is that 2.5? Okay. Newtons per kilogram, a.k.a. meters per second squared, and then for the other one, I'm going to have 0.5 newtons divided by 0.25 kilograms. That's like 1 over 4. So 0.5 divided by 1 over 4. This is like 2. All right. There we go. Any questions? What? 
I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at him. What's your problem? Cuz. Does that seem odd? Uh oh. So that's problematic. So something's got to be not quite right here. Okay. What's not quite right here? It should have the same acceleration. Okay. So we just talked about this in the last situation. So I'm glad that triggered a few people because that was the issue with the boxes. They have to have the same acceleration if they're connected. These things are not touching, but they're connected by a string. They have different rates of acceleration. Either that string is stretching or getting shorter. That's weird. What? Ooh. So we could instead take this thing, and nobody ever asked me to finish out my system schema, but I could here. Okay. And I can throw a little system boundary. That's a dotted line in my world. I can throw a little system boundary around that and just treat those two things as the system, right? And so then we can roll down here. I better add in some more space. Let's see. Boop. All right. Um, so so if you look at my system, what 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 interactions are crossing the system boundary? Going into it. Yeah, which ones are crossing over the system boundary? So two gravity ones, right? This one is two newtons, and this one is two point five newtons, right? So then I just go. Two newtons and two point five newtons, right? What? Oh. You're just pointing at stuff. So I've got two and a half newtons of gravity from the one. I got two newtons from the other. Yeah. Okay. What's your quick question? It's a great question. Which way is? I was going to try to grab the screen and rotate. Which way is the acceleration? That's going to clue you. This is that helpful little tip we talked about earlier. So the 200 grams is the thing that's going to start out on the ground. Which way is it going to accelerate? Up. So I'm going to add a little notation next to the diagram so I'm mindful the acceleration has got to be up. How about over here? Which way is the acceleration got to be? Down. Okay. You want to identify that because, again, look at the equation. Fu equals ma. The Fu and the a, they got to be pointing the same direction, okay? Um, so the Fu for this one has to point down. The Fu for this one has to point up. But then there's a problem, right? Because when I look at this, if I'm thinking about the system, how do I get the FU to point up and down? This looks like the FU is only pointing down. Okay. So I want to remind you, I'm going to get rid of this real quick. I'm going to remind you about pulleys. What do pulleys do? They change the direction. They redirect the force. So rather than just treating the system as one dot, what I'm going to do is like take this thing and like unwrap it from the pulley. So it becomes a one dimensional problem. So I'm going to have – somebody wants to give me a standing desk for my birthday. That would probably be super cool. I'm going to have – yeah. I'll try that later. Two Newtons there, and this was on M1, yeah? And then M2 is over here. And this is 2.5 newtons, okay? And again, these are the system. I don't have to worry about forces internal to the system, right? There's tension going on in here, but if it's internal to the system, I don't have to worry about it. So if I got two newtons that way, two and a half newtons that way, what direction is the 
a few going to be? It's going to be that way, yeah? And so the acceleration is going to be in the direction of the, the bigger mass. And that kind of makes sense for what's happening on here, yeah? If you think about how the pulley is changing the direction, this thing is going to accelerate down. This thing is going to accelerate towards the other mass, yeah? So if I take these two syst system arrows, I've got 2.5 newtons like that. I've got two newtons like that. I get an FU on the system of 0.5. And so I can take that 0.5 newtons and divide it by, ooh, what's the system mass here? 200 grams, 250 grams. So 0.45 kilograms. What's uh, 0.5 divided by 0.45? Pretty darn close to one. We're going to call it 1.1. Meters per second squared until somebody grabs a calculator. And then over here, we already identified that the change of position is 0.5 meters. Starts from rest, so it's going to go like that. This is going to be 0.5 meters. This acceleration is 1.1 meters per second squared. This is T. This is 1.1 T. both sides by 2. I'm going to have 1.1 t squared. 1 over 1.1 equals t squared. 1 over 1.1 is pretty close to 1, yeah? What's the square root of 1? 1. Okay, so that's how much time this thing should take to fall. Let's check it out. Let's see how close we are. Somebody got a stopwatch handy? Can't wait until it starts. All right, stopwatch handy? Where's the swimmer kids? Do not have any in here? Who's the swimmers? There are no swimmers in this class. Yeah. Well, retired swimmers. Fair enough. Okay. So you're going to stopwatches. Okay, ready to time this thing? Yes. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> What'd you get all? Backup timer. Come on, backup timer. All right. Bernardo got one with thousand. Let's try it again. Okay, you got to watch handy. Don't trust the people. All right, ready? Listo. Three, two, one, go. 1.03? 1.99. 1. 0.99? Still going. Still going. No, it's brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You got about 1 1,000. Okay. One Mississippi over there. Okay, cool. So it's about a second. Now, hand timing for something that's just taking about a second. But, okay, it's in the ballpark, huh? So that works. So we got the acceleration with the systems approach. Yo. So does direction matter at all for like um, acceleration or like what's the velocities of each of them? Are both of them positive or both of them negative? Because one's going up and one's going down, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or they're all going that way. Yeah. So if we unwrap it from the pulley, we could just consider it going in the direction of the bigger thing. So does that just mean it's positive? That works for you? Sure. Okay. I'm just wondering how you would figure yeah. that out. I mean, that's kind of what you got to do. I think... Problem solving wise, it's nice if we can unwrap it from the pulley, and then you can just see it's going in the direction of the bigger yeah. thing. Okay. But then what Mara's talking about is like if we were answering this on a test and it was being really specific or on a, a mastering or something like that, uh, what is the velocity of this at the end here? So let me let me get a new color here. Uh, boop. Yeah. What is the final velocity, kids, that are good at math? Um, you take one second times 1.1, what are you going to get? So what's the velocity of the big one that fell? What's the velocity of the little one that went up? 
Okay, but they're going in different directions. So how are we going to account for that? So this is what Mara is asking. What would you report as the final velocity of the big mass? What would you report as the final velocity of the little one? Run that by your neighbor real quick. But isn't that technically moving that way? Which is the negative direction? Well, I think the big thing's moving down and the little thing's moving up. Yeah? Okay. You're watching, right? Like over here? Yeah. This thing started here and went that way. This thing started here and went that way. Yeah. Yeah. So different directions, right? Yeah. yeah. So let's talk conventions here a little bit, okay? Um. Conventionally, upwards is considered the positive direction. Downwards is considered the negative direction. So what are we going to say for the velocity of this thing that went up? At the end, it's going positive 1.1. This one, right before it hit negative 1.1. So you're going to have to involve your brain in this at some point and recognize that the directions are moving differ. Um, we're using this unwrapping it from the pulley thing to kind of simplified into a one-dimensional problem that way they're going the same way because again all the pulley does is change direction okay um let's go back up though so we've got this acceleration from the systems approach we've confirmed that that acceleration is pretty close to correct because it's taking about that amount of time to fall but we got to come back up to this thing uh maybe if we can get to it okay uh, and the problem was here that if I make this 2.5 and I make this 2, we end up with different values for the acceleration. 2 for the one, 2.5 for the other. And that can't be. So where did we go astray here? We should be able to arrive at that same answer through this approach. But there's something wrong about assumptions we made here. So which things did we know and which things did we sort of infer, as it were. Run that by your neighbor really quick. Where might we be running astray here? I guess I would point it out to you like this. The issue I'm running into here is we had 0.5 newtons for this one. We had 0.5 newtons for this one. We had the same FU for both of them. Why is that going to be problematic? Directionality is going to play a part here. They have different masses. And if they have different masses and I have the same FU, I'm going to get different accelerations. So that's problematic. I don't want the FUs to be the same. I want the masses. Well, the masses are the same. I need the FUs to be different. Okay. So there's something wrong in this. I can't assume this to be 2.5 and this to be 2. Why else would it be problematic to call this 2.5 and this 2? when you look at the system schema. Who day? Right? Force pairs. They can't be different. They got to be the same. So what are they? Well, this one's the bigger one, right? So this is 2.5 newtons and this is 2.5 newtons. Right? What issue does this raise? If I say that this is 2.5 newtons, this has to be 2.5 newtons. Why is that bad? I got one thing balanced, I got one thing unbalanced. This thing would have a constant velocity, this thing would be accelerating. That's going to be problematic. So they can't balance. So let's make. Let's make this one be two and this one is just two. What's the problem? No, the other one's balanced. Dang it. Okay. It's so it's not that. <coughs> is the force in here? Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So we know those two have to be the same. We know they can't be 2.5. We know they can't be two. We know they can't be different, so we're just going to leave them as an unknown right now, okay? So I'm just going to call these – oh, let's find a fun color. Let's go with orange. I'm just going to call this FT for right now, okay? And in my diagram, I'm 
I'm just going to mark that value as FT and over here, FT. And it's the same FT for both of those. Okay, what I can then do is write an expression for the unbalanced force. I'm going to take my lard and turn it into an equation. Okay, so FU on this thing, F I E, FU, let's call this FU1. How would I write that algebraically? What is this FU going to be equal to? Ft minus 2? Okay. And then over here, we'll call this Fu2. How would you write the algebraic expression for that? Mara says 2.5 minus Ft. Okay. So now I've got expressions for the FUs. Now I can go into this thing down here. I know the accelerations have to be equal. So I can say FT minus 2 divided by M1 because that's my unbalanced force for object 1. That has to equal 2.5 minus... Ft over M2. Ooh, and these aren't unknowns. These are knowns. M1, that is 0.2 kilograms. And M2, that is 0.25 kilograms. So now, you throw a little space in here. All right, um, Ft minus 2, that's divided by 0 0.2, 2 0.5 minus Ft, that's over 0.25. So I just uh, multiply stuff a little bit here. That's going to give me 0 0.25 Ft minus 2 times 0 0.25. Who's got a calculator? I was kidding. All right, uh, and then I got to do the other side. So 0 0.2 times 2.5, is that going to be a fifth of 2.5? Is that 0.5? That's how math works, right? Am I making that up? Somebody double check my algebra, but this is where I think I landed. So if we add 0.5 to both sides... I'm going to get 0.25 FT equals 1 minus 0.2 FT. And that's going to become 0.45 FT equals 1. So FT is equal to 1 divided by 0.45. Okay? 2.22222. There you go, Newtons. All right, so we'll pick up with that tomorrow.